Okay, so this is an application that's using the Google Tango motion tracking code uh, as an augmented reality example. And we're using the connect surface method, which is going to allow us later to use the point cloud data. Because we're not using the native Android camera, we're actually using the Tango's camera accessor to build the surface. Um, so I have two renders here. I have an OpenGL1 render and an OpenGL2 render. So I'm going to select OpenGL1. And I have a cube that's dropped immediately. Um, so once you get in close, you can see there's actually tracking data provided from the Tango. I'm going to go ahead and get in close to this computer, and I'm going to drop a marker. And now that was where my uh, camera position was. So I can kind of go back there and check my registration. Keep in mind, this isn't calibrated. So this is just ballpark calibration. Um, you know, to do this correctly, we'll have to add some code for intrinsic uh, calibration. I'm going to go over here to the, to the lamp and, you know, I'm looking at the lamp. I'm going to drop another position marker and you can see it's roughly where I was. And now I'm going to go over to the light switch and um, drop another marker. And if things are off, you can reset the motion tracking, so I can take a pause here for a second, Tango's going to reinitialize, drop another marker, and it's still acting kind of strange there. And that's pretty much the OpenGL1 render. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause, so I back out. A key thing that uh, when you're working with Tango, you have to make sure you handle the on-pause and on-resume events very carefully, because if the Tango's running and tries to reconnect, it's going to cause problems. So take a look at the code for that. So now I'm running the uh, OpenGL2 marker. I'm sorry, uh, render. So it's open to GL box. Go back to my position, check my registration, and you can kind of do the same thing. So hopefully this code will be useful. We've got to keep kind of uh, pushing along. Again, the goal here was to use the Tango's connect surface method because that will allow us to have free access to the camera for point cloud data uh, when we move into the point cloud. Thanks.